All right, guys, uh, I just wanted to make this quick video before the Rangers game comes on. Um, I just wanted to show my Zobi. I forget what it even is now. Signature series, the one that shipped on February 1st and it's now February 15th. So it, there was a, you know, a week or two that it was just had no tracking information. It said that it shipped, departed from Houston. I'm on Long Island. And it just, it went away. It said it's arriving late. And I didn't know when it was coming until this morning. I got a shipping update saying that uh, it was going to be delivered today. So I don't know what happened. But I know that, you know, in the beginning of the month, I think Texas was having a lot of, like, weather issues. They got some snow there. And they don't usually get snow. So I guess they were having some shipping issues because of that. Um, but, yeah, so it's finally here. I hope... That they put it in a top loader because this thing has seen better days. I don't know if it got lost and then it was just getting thrown around all over the place. But these, all, every corner is bashed. Um, I hope it's in a top loader. Something plastic so that, you know, maybe the picture is in good shape. But this is from The Thing. I don't know who it's going to be. Maybe Keith David. I don't know. I'll have to take take a peek. Right, let's, I'll show you first. I can't see it. So is it straight? Oh, there's something stuck to the front of it. Oh, that's a cool picture. That's like the, um, what do you call it? The collector's edition. I think the Scream Factory uh, cover that they they put on the, uh, on the Scream Factory collector's edition speaking of scream factory i have something from scream factory all right so who is this i can't make out what that says so i'm gonna have to put in let me see is there anything else in here i actually really like that picture that's a cool one and the thing is top two favorite horror movies ever probably one of my favorite movies ever i like um the thing and Evil Dead. Those are my top two. So let me just put this in the JSA and see what that signature is. Okay, so this is Thomas Waits. I, I could kind of make it out now underneath the inscription. It says Windows. I couldn't make out what that said. Windows. He's the guy who, on the, uh, the scene where they're doing like the they're testing the blood to see who's the thing. You see, when a man bleeds, it's just tissue. No blood from one of you things won't obey when it's attacked. It'll try and survive. Crawl away from a hot needle, say. Uh, and he's got the flamethrower on. And so Palmer starts transforming and Windows is trying to blast him and then he gets eaten by the thing. And then, Oh, that was an awesome scene. Windows, blast him! <laughs> That's probably the best scene in the whole movie. Um, but this is Windows, which is actually really cool because I think Keith David is doing uh, some like mail-in signings at some different places. So adding his signature to this would probably be cool because you never really see like the rest of the cast do signings. I mean, obviously, you know, there's some, some people that aren't around anymore, but, um, you know, having... Having a, a signature like that and then adding on to it, that would be probably be pretty cool. I don't usually like to add on to, you know, pictures that are 8 by 10 um, I like to have, like, a bigger copy of certain things, but this picture I actually really like. Um, so that might be worth it. I'm probably going to frame this one, and I'll probably try and get Keith David, Keith David added to that. Um, but speaking of the um, Scream Factory copy... Um, there was a Scream Factory release today, a new one, and I picked it up at Best Buy. This is The Howling. They just came out with a, uh, this is 4K. Uh, this is a 4K Ultra HD copy of Joe Dante's The Howling with uh, D. Wallace. So, I mean, I don't know if anyone, you know, knows what Scream Factory does, um, but they do a lot of, like, collector's editions for different 
um, horror movies. Scream Factory is horror movies. Shout Factory is like the parent company, and they do all different kinds of movies. Um, but Scream Factory focuses on just horror. They actually released uh, back in October uh, Halloween 1 through 5, those big collector's edition 4Ks that were amazing. I got all five of them. They're awesome looking. Um, and they add, what Scream Factory does is they like to take the movies and like rescan them in like super high def. I think like sometimes depending on what they can do. I think this is a, yeah, this is a new 4K restoration of this movie. Um, but sometimes they even do like 8K and they just like scan the negatives and they try and get the best quality that they can. And a lot of times what they do with these collector's editions is they add on like a ton of different special features that you've never seen before. Um, they did that with this when The Howling came out on Blu-ray. Um, they had like a, a collector's edition Blu-ray of The Howling and I think they had like a steel book um, that had all brand new special features. This is the 4K version of that. So I don't think there's really anything new on it besides the, the, the 4K restoration of the DVD. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I love having everything in 4k, so it would be worth it for me. And I didn't have this on Blu-ray, so the special features, they're all going to be new to me. So, all right. Um, but that's it for now. I'm glad I finally got this and I did take a look. Nothing is damaged or anything. The envelope got all messed up, but this looks like it's in very good shape. It's a good thing that they put these in these top loaders. Um... But yeah, that's it for now. Stay tuned for next time.